Welcome back, everybody. Trick or treating is for the kiddos, but some adults find ways to make the best of it. If your community permits it, maybe you want to bring some beverages along for that spooky stroll. That's right. Jessica Bell from My Wine School is here to pair wine with candy and tell us about the fastest growing option in the market. Welcome back to the show. Thank We've been you. Been forever. I know. I'm back, and I brought you the second half of your breakfast of champions. Yes. I like pizza it. Broccoli and pizza. Wine and for breakfast. What candy are you for Halloween? Wine. I'm an optimist because I see the world through rosé glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I love that's fantastic. Fantastic. Easy, like that. Easy, very easy. <laughs> that's fun. So yeah, when you're trick or treating, there's you know it's always fun, but it's um, even more fun always when you have wine. So um, <laughs> I thought um, you know what you want are things that are easy on the move, and mm -hmm. then you want things that are non-glass because fake blood, yeah. good, real blood, not, not good. good. Not, that's right, a buzz exactly. okay. So what we've got are three different options here. Um, this is really the more uh, traditional option. We've seen this in the market for a long time, and it's the the you know the airplane single bottle, serves. single serving, um, and now we're seeing Tetra Packs, which are great. One of my favorites. I haven't seen these. I have, but oh, I yeah. thought you had to decant those, if you will. No, I didn't know that that was like a thing you're just supposed to you sip can right out of. Yeah. Open and drink well, it? you can. Yeah, these are 500 milliliters, so it's about three fourths of can a I bottle. Drink out of this? Yeah, go That's for it. That's three fourths of a bottle. Yeah, That's it's dangerous. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's deceptive. <laughs> so um, one of my favorites is Bandit. Mm. Um, the quality is getting a lot better. Um, what this they're trying to do good. is what do you get. Have, it's yeah. really good. <laughs> yeah, there you mm -hmm. go. See, and these are, um, for in terms of pairing, these are both dry wines. And so okay. I'm saying um, save the candy for other wines. Go for the quarters and buy yourself some cheese. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this wouldn't go well with uh -uh. candy, I don't no, think. No, and the reason is, is that candy with sugar yeah. is going to make any dry wine taste like dust and dirt and yeah, really yeah. bad. So, um, but that's one option. You can either drink these on their own or you can bring your own cup. That's interesting because I would have thought a dry wine would pair well with candy just because it would offset it, but you're saying no, dry is bad, it tastes worse. Right. In, <laughs> okay. in fact, with just a basic food and wine pairing mm -hmm. guideline is you want your wine at least as sweet as your as your food. So if you're you're eating candy, that's really sweet. So you okay. want your, your wine to be sweeter. Okay. Now the next um, biggest part of the, the market that's growing right now, the, the fastest growing part of the market is this single serve, mm -hmm. um, ready, to, ready to serve uh, yeah, these um, are cute. packaging. They're adorable. And there's so many right now. It's just exploding with options. So we've got flip flop wine, which is a, it's a can, so you can just crack it open and go so for it. So you can drink Super as much as you want. Cute. Yeah. Um, we've got uh, Copa de Vino, which you've seen on Shark Tank. Um, again, yeah. you just flip open the top and you're ready to go. Don't they have these at sporting events now? Yes, you'll yeah. see those at sporting events at Pick and Save. Oh, yes. Plastic those or are glass. I've these are. Um, there are a certain kind of plastic called PET, and they're really thick. Okay. Okay. Um, the thing about Do you these, recycle these? You can. Yes, okay. these are definitely recyclable. Can I drink this? Oh, go for it. And um, this other one here. This is uh, the stacked version, um, and these actually stack, so they stick together. Oh. So you can just oh. stack them together. And oh guess who's that? <laughs> Guess who's making this one? This is made by Juliana Rancic. Rancic? Of that, course. Name yeah, right? from E! News. Yeah, so yeah. she's cashing in on... Uh, a lot of people think <laughs> of her. Yeah, there are restaurants, too. So right. what would you pair with these? So now this wine here that uh, Juliana does is, is a Moscato. So it's okay. a little sweeter. It's sweeter. Mm -hmm. okay. So this will go okay with candy. And I, I thought candies that have mm. um, caramel, white chocolate. Mm. And last night oh, I was good. doing lots of research and I found that... <gasps> Moscato and uh, Butterfinger is a, is a, is a great I can tell you so, if that's yeah. true. Who right, doesn't want Jessica's kind of research? <laughs> I mean, Jessica's research is drinking wine and eating candy right now. Yeah. Let's be honest. Although I'll say I could not sleep last night full of sugar <laughs> and... Um, I bet. Yeah. Okay, so Butterfinger? Butterfinger and Moscato for me was, was just Moscato. a great pairing. So mm. I feel like I'm supposed to wash it down with it, but no. That's it. Then really amazing. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that what's is happening really good. is the Moscato is sweet, um, but mm. then and when you eat something sweet with it, it makes the wine taste less sweet. Mm -hmm. So they kind of cancel each other out, sweetness okay. and food and wine. That is so contradictory. Uh, that's opposite of what I would have thought. Well, your so. intuition would be. Oh, yeah. that's excellent. Okay, Great. you're good. Okay. So here's the deal. You've got a new invention. I do, yes. This is a real deal. <laughs> Jessica so created this. Cool. Well, okay. okay, so what I created was Halo Vino. It's called Halo Vino because it's a wine glass that has a, a halo in the, in the center. Okay, you see and, it right there. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I, I created it is that the current options out there are, um, are just insufficient for okay. um, wine so appreciation. They stack. Yep. Okay. And so they're two parts so that they'll stack, but then they stack together, easily stack together, uh, and uh, oh, I did the wrong one. Clip to together. This one. Yep. For um, a watertight seal, and then this halo like effect around the and center. And now it's a wine glass. 
And, um, yeah. Fantastic. And so it's inexpensive. It's going to retail for under a dollar. Um, they stack and That's awesome, um, Jessica. they're the right shape. And so that, you could throw it away, but you can wash it. Exactly. They are dishwasher hmm. safe and the recycle bulb. So um, it's at a price point yeah. where if you don't feel like uh, holding on to it, you won't feel so guilty about tossing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah, and the thing that's so great about these is the shape. So what you see in the market right now, everything that's under a dollar is going to exactly is going to have a wider rim than the base. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it dilutes aromas. Um, and the simple geometry oh. of a goblet shaped glass, like the ones I've invented, are um, they will funnel the aromas to your nose, and so the yes. perception of quality will be oh. higher. Now I'm the one. I'm exactly. A, I'm yeah. a red girl, and I will probably be. Um, porting, uh, bringing along some red when I go trick-or-treating with my son tomorrow. So what would be a good pairing? <laughs> right, I brought, and I know Tiffany's a red, I love too. red, too. So I brought you guys actually a wine I picked up when I was in Sonoma last time. Um, uh, this is uh, Tea Vine Zinfandel. Okay. And Zinfandel is a great wine to go with uh, candy because even though it's dry, it's so ripe with fruit yeah. that it'll go well with I chocolate. Butter and chocolate. in my mouth. Yeah, and licorice. Okay. Because Ooh. a lot of red wines have that licorice anise flavor to it, so it really pairs nicely with a little licorice. So this one again was what? This is one I picked up. I, I don't oh, think okay. it's available in the market oh, yet. Darn it. But go out and get a Zinfandel. Okay, um, any so Zinfandel. So Klein Zinfandel is great. Um, Bogle Zinfandel. They're all around twelve to fifteen dollars, mm -hmm. and um, they're going to pair great with your um, with your candy. And when you get the Bogle, black out the B, and then it's Ogle wine. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we do that for gifts all the time. Nice. It's great. Okay, well here's where you can find out more about Halo and these great cups. So you can take them trick or treating with you. It's halovino.com. Jessica invented them and my wine school as well. That's where she's got all of her information and you can sign up for a class online. Learn a little bit more about what suits your palate too. Thanks for being yeah, here. Thanks for you having me. You are an optimist. <laughs> Glass half full right here.